All right, guys, so we finally made it to Mineral Wells last night at like 4.30 in the morning. Um, right now it is 10.40, and we're about to head out over to the track. Well, I gotta work on the RX-7. It's not ready yet. So. Oh, yes. Yes, we I gotta do that, and then you're gonna, you're pretty much ready. We just gotta get your car off the trailer. Uh, yeah, oh, so. oh, oh, wait. Try to get it off the trailer without taking off the front lip. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh, that is true. Here. Let me see. Yeah, let me, let me come over here. No, so... When I when I got up the uh, the Miata on the trailer, I kind of just rushed it up there. You almost Wait, hold on, off. I got an idea. <laughs> you literally almost popped yeah, it. Yeah, so dude, you took off the front. Is this that held on by zip ties? Yeah. Everything's held on by zip ties. Okay, yeah. I respect so, it. We gotta try to find a way to get this off. It easily went on, but uh. Yeah, I think it's just gonna pop off. You think? I think, I think you're just. Worst gonna case scenario, it breaks some off. zip ties. We got more zip ties though. We're yeah, good. Yeah, it's only here. We so. Oh, oh, cars. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you guys at the track. Sounds good. So, in true daily drift fashion, we didn't get everything done on the cars last night. We are right now putting on the front sway bar and adjusting the tie rods on the RX-7. And then we're gonna check a little other things. It looks like the exhaust, uh, broken exhaust hanger on the way here. Maybe it was from the chain or something, I don't know. But uh, it's hanging a little lower and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with that or if we are gonna do anything with it. But uh, right now we're and down then, here. How's it going, gentlemen? It's going, slowly but surely. Oh man, that angle kit looks so good. It's getting there. We're just trying to get the sway bar back on. See if the uh, sway bar helps with what? With the bump steer that I was having. And especially like when I was driving down the road just the other day, I was going just in a straight line and I kept feeling the wheel doing this. And like every time I'd get on the brakes, it was doing this. Yeah, that's fine. And I think it's because not having this extra connection point here was causing that, but I could be wrong. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> Shalom. It was not like that when Holy I put them on. Oh, shit. Yeah, these are brand new tires. That's wire. That's not good. That's not wire. Where's wire? See that shiny stuff? That's not wire. That's the that tire. Happen? I don't know. All right, so we just checked the toe on the RX-7. It's fine. Right now we're adjusting the uh, the bump stops. That way that we don't rub anymore. We're getting a little bit of rubbing on the... Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Let me just get down there for you. See if you can oh, see okay. it. Here. See the light. I get some light in there. I guess it's oh, yeah, not you really can see good it. Light. Well, you can see where the metal is wore out, and that's where we're rubbing a little bit. So we're gonna fix that problem right now by adjusting these bump stops. But after that, uh, I think we just have to put a um, collector bolt in, right? Yeah, collector bolt, and then we're good to go. Nice. All right, so uh, we got everything done on the RX-7 finally. Uh, it's ready to go drift. The Miata is ready to drift, and uh, I think we're just getting the GoPros right now, and we're about to head out. Alright, well we'll see you guys out there on the track. Peace.
appreciate it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, the car died when I came to a stop because I came up to the 360 area. Uh, the donuts. People were doing donuts and I had to stop. I stopped. The car died and then I couldn't start back up. That's some bullshit. Well, like, it, here, I uh, there, was, it, there were three people going in the donut. And then uh, do, do a donut over here. It helps you get your chicken. Yeah. You keep going. I'm going to go fix this. I'll be right I can't there. have it die like that. I'm going to do one more. Yeah. Uh, we've been having some issues with the RX-7. It looks like it's been dying. Uh, it's not wanting to start up again. The same issue we've been having. But uh, now we're going to just try to figure out what it is. Because this is very frustrating when we go on track and the car dies. Uh, so we're going to just try to figure it out and look it up. So what are you doing right now? Brainstorming. What kind of goals? Try to come up with the idea of picking timing. Um, but it's also it's it's the problem with the alternator mixed with the ground, the underdrive pulley. Like it's a combination of problems. But it's just weird that we didn't have this problem in Corpus. That's what's weird about it. So I don't know. It's just funny that this happened. So I don't know. I gotta figure it out like what to do. We got it. Push it with my car. Can you? Yeah. Alright, 
so we just got done running a little bit. Uh, Kyle actually had some almost catastrophic oh. failure on the track. Care to uh, explain what happened? I ran out of oil. Yeah. So <laughs> because of the valve covers, there you go. <laughs> because the valve covers are leaking yeah. oil everywhere, and we ended up we checked it before we went. And we thought we had enough, but Damn. obviously we didn't. And so now we have to go get some oil at the parts store, and then we're gonna get some stuff at gas at the gas station, and everything, and come back out here. But it's really fun so far. Having a good time, and hopefully gonna start tandeming here in a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We finally made it back. Um, this trip was like not anything that we ever expected. 
Don't get me wrong, we had a great time, but like, it seemed like everything that was going wrong as far as RX-7 goes, it was, and like, it just did not want to cooperate. We still have a crap load of tires that we did not get to use. It is what it is, they're spares, now we got them for the next time we go drifting. The RX-7 needs a lot of work though. It looks like the oil pan gasket is screwed and possibly the rear main seal, but I won't know until I can get in there and actually take a look. It's leaking really bad as you saw earlier, so it's just SOL for now. So I don't know when the next time is the RX-7 is gonna be going, but uh, the Miata did well, had a few issues with it not starting, and it did really well. Like the Miata was the saving grace for that trip. We still had a great time. Um, I'm glad to be home though. That was like a long way away for us. It was a crazy trip. It took a lot to get there. It took us a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, we had a good time. We'll definitely be going to more Lone Star events. It's just for right now we need a break and we got to get this garage organized. I mean, it is just, it is just a mess. Like look at this place. It is just, it is nothing but trash and just, oh, it's so bad. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this thing, and if you did like this video, you know, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It really helps us out. It lets us know that we are appreciated and that we can keep doing this thing, and we want to keep going as far as we can, and we love all the support that we get from you guys, um, and we really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching our videos time and time again. It's it's unbelievable, you know, and we're just happy to do this. We're gonna keep doing this as long as we can and we love you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. No matter what you're doing, stay positive and remember, keep drifting fun.